Okay, in these cases, I'm asked to find the sum of the first 60 terms of the sequence. So my n is going to be equal to 60. Technically, we probably should have said series here because we've got our sum or our difference. So in this case, my d value is going to be 4. So I can either go straight to using my sum formula or I could find u sub 60 first. But I'm going to go straight to the sum formula, 60 over 2 times 2 of the first term plus my n is 60, so n minus 1 is 59, and my common difference is 4. So now I've got something to put into my calculator. So 30 times 6 plus 59 times 4, and I get 7,260. All right, so this is still a sequence. We've got a sum, just a sum of negative terms, and I can see that they're negative because my first term is negative 2, my common difference is negative 5, and again, my n is 60. So I should get a very large negative number this time. So s sub 60, again, 60 over 2, 2u1 plus n minus 1 is 59 times the common difference. All right, 30 times negative 4 plus 5 times negative 4. Oh, no. Sorry, 59 times negative 5. Negative 8,970. All right, in this example, we know our first term. We know our last term, 147. We can conclude that our d value is 6. What we don't know is n. So that's the first thing we need to find out. So I know that u sub n is equal to u1 plus n minus 1 times d. So move this over. I'll get 144 divided by 6 is going to be 24. And that's my n minus 1. So n is 25. All right, now I can use my simpler form of the sum formula, s sub 25, 25 over 2 times first term plus last term. I'll get 150 divided by 2, so my sum is going to be 25 times 75. And we end up with 1,875. I'll be back in the next video to do our next examples.